Men's basketball looking to avoid their first two-game losing streak of the season, taking on West Con, who came into the game 15-1 overall, 7-1 in the Little East Conference, and the Beacons would get off to a fast start early on. Malik Florquette scoring the first six points for the Beacons. You see his layup right there. puts him up 2-0. Then it's a 2-2 game. Florquette down low after the miss from Connor Walden, who had himself a big game. Gets the layup, and then Lorquette once again on the fast break gets two to fall. It's six to two at that point, and then Mariano Olivier Rodriguez nails a corner three. The Beacons ahead early by seven points on the Wolves, and they continue to roll. As you mentioned, Connor Walden, the freshman forward, coming off the bench, nails a three. He had himself a career day playing in 26 minutes in this one, more than he's played all year combined coming into the day. Ryan Alkins would hit a layup right there, giving West Con their first lead of the game. And then with the Beacons trailing by two, Malik Lorquette down low lays it up and in. It's 20 all. We roll on later on in the first half. And an 11-0 run for the Wolves would really be the difference maker in the first half. It would help put the Wolves in front by 11 points. They'd head into the halftime locker room up by nine after two Bobby Joy free throws. But you see right here, Nailing shot after shot, Jalen Jackson with the three and then a steal. The Wolves were going on a press break for most of the game, and it forced a lot of beacon turnovers, which helped lead to over 30 points for West Con, 37 to be exact. As you see, though, the beacons would come back in the second half, a 12-2 run to start it. Bobby Joy with the three and then another one, so back-to-back -back threes for Joy en route to a 13-point Evening for him, you see the crowd clapping for him there. And then Manny Zayas with a deep three gets the Beacons within two. And just like that, we have ourselves a ball game in the second half. And Tommy Burris caps it off with a three of his own. So raining down four threes to start the second half. Later on, Beacons down by two. Olivia Rodriguez again in the corner. Nothing but net. Beacons back in front, 37-36. You see the cheerleaders there. Beacons trailing again now by one. Walden misses a three. Lorquette rebound down low. Puts it back. He yells towards the crowd. And the Beacons yet again go ahead. Moving forward. Beacons trailing by three now. Manny's eyes in the corner. Hits a three. We're tied back up at 46 all. And then Bobby Joy. He hits a three. And just like that, the Beacons regain the lead. So back and forth. These teams going in the second half. Beacons looking for the upset in Connor Walden yet again. Corner three, nails it. Beacons by four now with eight minutes to go. Lorquette now with the Beacons up three, lays it up and in. UMass Boston looking like they're in full control in the second half of this game, but West Con would end up coming back after Lorquette's free throw right here. Beacons are up by five, and suddenly now Kendall Robinson with the step back against Tommy Burris gives the Wolves the lead by two. And then Jaheim Young later on with the Wolves up five. His jumper falls. It's a seven-point game with just under three minutes to go. Manny Zayas, though, tries to put the Beacons back into it. A deep three from near the logo with a minute to go makes it a three-point game. And then Joy hits a layup with it being a four-point game, 74-70. to 70. And just like that, the Beacons still have some hope with a chance to get back into it. Carson Meswar then is going to nail this deep three way back, banks it in. It's a three-point game with six seconds left, but the rally would come up just short as Westcon's going to hold on for the four-point victory, 79-75. Malik Lorquette finishes the game with a team-high 19 points, 14 rebounds. He's closing in on the all-time rebound record, just 27 away from tying it. UMass Boston with their first two-game losing streak of the season is now 6-4 in conference play, 13-6 overall. They head on the road on Wednesday against UMass Dartmouth for a 7.30 tip-off.